Hey Libra, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of September 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment and share with your friends and family. Make sure that you also follow me on my social media pages. My Instagram is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. My Facebook is at Lamar Townsend Tarot, spelled just like my YouTube name. Also, make sure that if you want a personal reading, you check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. And you purchase your reading directly from my website. I am an astrologer as well as a psychic tarot reader, so I can read your tarot cards as well as your natal chart or your birth chart. So check those under my website. Purchase your reading directly from my website, and within 24 hours, I will send you an email confirmation letting you know that I received your payment. And then within one to three days or sooner, we will get your reading done, typically sooner than two to three days, okay? Sometimes it's the same day, all right? With that being said, make sure that you um, also check out my website. I do have subscription service readings where you pay a monthly fee, and each month you get a reading sent to your email by the first of the month. Uh, it can be a generally general monthly overview, or you can send questions, um, or you can set up a phone reading. All right, check those out on my website as well. And thank you for listening and watching. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, first through 12th house, North Node, South Node, and all placements in between. Basically, if you have Libra in your chart, this reading is for you. Let's see what's in store for you all. And by the way, we're almost at Libra season, so happy birthday to my Libras that have their birthday this month, all right? Um, how exciting. What is in store for Libras? in store for Libra during the month of September 2019. Libra, we're in Virgo season. Virgo season is about structure. It's about orderliness. It's about routine. It's about health. It's about self. Where do you fall in all of this, uh, Libra? Let's see what's in store for you, Libra, for the month of September 2019, Virgo season. So let's start for Libra for September 2019. Libra. For September 2019. Okay. Six of Wands falls out, which can mean conflict. Um, maybe you are in some sort of conflict with um, other people. Could be conflict with yourself. Could be you, maybe you're feeling defensive. All right, over something this month. Specifically at the beginning of the month. <clears throat> I feel like for many of you, it's inner conflict over something. That could be causing you to be defensive. All right? <clears throat> With others. Libra for September 2018. All right, saying goodbye to old structures here with the Four of Wands coming out in the past position, doing things differently this month. Justice, so this is your card, right and wrong, equality, peace, balance, all right. With the Ace of Cups next to it, all right. So it's definitely safe to say that you're coming into the month balanced. You're coming into the month Feeling pretty good, feeling like you have you have some sort of structure down in your life where, excuse me, it makes sense for you. You know, um, it helps to maintain the balance, you know, that you have within. It helps to sustain that, all right? And you deserve that, Libra. After maybe having to deal with a structure that was unbalanced, that was imbalanced, that just didn't work for you. So there's something where you could also be catching up on something that you 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 lost out on um, in the past over the past several months due to some change in your the structure of your life. But there's balance restored this month. Some of you could be dealing with Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Some of you could be seeking new opportunities this month. In some way, shape, or form. And it's interesting, Libra, because there could be a new avenue opening for you this month, Libra. That you didn't expect to open for you. Could be a new path opening for you, Libra. 
could involve a decision, and you're, it's something that you, you're very indecisive about. But I think there could be a water sign, but you know, it's interesting, I'm also remember I was saying earth signs around you as well. Could be a water sign who really gives you the push you need, who really gives you the advice or the kind of um, thing you need to make the decision to do whatever it is that you need to do. But I also feel like there are some, there's a, an earth sign woman here and an earth sign man here that are also also encouraging you to move forward with something, to move forward with some sort of decision, all right? <clears throat> So there is something about you having support. You having support with something this month. I think it involves money. I think it involves some new opportunity. I think it involves some new path. I think it's very abundant for you. It is something that incorporates all of your skills and talents. Definitely something that you could be successful in. And it's something that where you can make a really good connection. Good connections. But whomever is bringing you into this, <clears throat> who's, ever who's ever offering you this opportunity, is also a good connection in itself. So this could be a, a connection that that's like a lot that has longevity, Libra. But for some reason, you're still apprehensive. It's like there's something about this opportunity where it came too soon, too fast, almost seems too good to be true. This could also be related to love. All right. Whether you're coupled or single, I want to say. Libra. Uh, I feel like some of you are going to say no to the opportunity. Because it's just like, it, it, it's too soon, too fast. It's too much too soon. It's too overwhelming. But then at the same time, there's something about it from your perspective, I feel, that it feels it's like too good to be true. Something about it is causing you fear. It's interesting. Some of you may have a second chance, though, after saying no. Some of you may not, though. I would say go with it. Uh, the fear may also be that involves travel. I feel like that's going to be the very thing that you're going to love about it, though, is that it involves travel. Um, and it may not be much money at first, but it does have the potential to bring in more money, Libra. Whatever this new opportunity is that you didn't think was going to pop off as fast as it did. Libra, this was already waiting for you. All right, whatever this opportunity was, was already waiting for you. All right, wow. I just want to pull more cards because this is exciting. <clears throat> wow, by your season, Libra, your life could be changed the way, let's just say the way your life is coming into the month of September will be totally different by the end of the month somehow, or will be totally different by your season, all right, in October, in a good way. But there's something about the balance. Remember I was saying the balance. It's like, okay, I, I remember at the beginning of the reading, I was like, okay, it's like you, you have the balance here. And I feel like you don't want to disrupt this balance that you, you finally created for yourself. It's like, girl. This is how I see, this is how I hear you saying, saying, talking to me right now. It's like, girl, or dude, you know, man, you know, whatever, whatever your gender is, however it is you talk. It's like, I just got to a place where I feel okay. I just got to a place where I feel comfortable with all the changes that I've gone through and where I'm at in my life. And you, you're saying that there's some something new coming where I have to get used to some more change? Yes, Libra. Absolutely. But what you don't realize is that this was just the catalyst for all of this. That, that that is to come. Don't get it yet? Let's do another spread. Let's do one more and see if it if it will, will make everything click for you. Remember, if you want a personal reading, I am available for personal readings. My website is lamartownsendtarot.com. Check out my website. Purchase your reading. Or you can call me or text me at 703-791-9162. Standard rates do apply. And I am on Eastern Standard Time. 
Libra for September 2018. Further clarification for Libra, September 2018. Temperance, balance, shows up in the past. Death card, saying goodbye to something. Maybe saying goodbye to this balance. That, <clears throat> it's not that it is bad. It's just not stimulating for your growth. And it is not... Feeding your expansion. This balance that you've created for yourself. It's time, Libra, to start going towards your passion, towards love. Whatever that means for you. Whether that means love in someone else. Or love in a dream of yours that you've always wanted to achieve. Love in a goal. Love in a passion. You know, some sort of, something like that. All right? You're being called towards something higher this month as much as you may be trying to fight it internally. And remember, Libra, I was saying, remember, I was shuffling in that, uh, I think it was, what was it, the Four of Wands, the Six of Wands came out, and I was talking about how that can be, like, it can mean maybe you're feeling defensive, maybe you're, feeling, you're in conflict with someone, or maybe it's internal conflict, and I was saying, but I feel like it's internal at the very beginning of the reading, right? Is this the internal conflict? The decision of do I go towards something higher, which may make me feel uncomfortable, which may take me out of my element, my comfort zone, my peace that I've created and stabilized for myself, or do I stick to what I know, do I stick to what's comfortable and what's comforting, what's limiting as well, but what's comfortable, what's peaceful in the now. It's, and I feel like the, your biggest thing is your fear of doing it alone. Fear of, do, of doing it, but, you know, not having the support. You have the support. Don't worry about that. There aren't going to be enemies. There aren't going to be lions, tigers, and bears on my waiting for you in the wings, in the west wings, in the east wings. All right? In the north, it's, it's, you know, it's all in your perception. All right? It's all in what you, you believe. So if that's what you believe, maybe that's what you'll manifest. All right? <clears throat> but there is a higher call. There's something higher calling you this month, Libra. I'm sticking to it. All right? Whether it's love, whether it's a, a goal, a job, a career, traveling abroad, moving abroad. All right? Your dream home, your dream dog, your dream cat, your dream lizard, gerbil, guinea pig. All right, your dream hair piece. Something is calling you, Libra. Your dream car. Something higher is calling you, and it, you're able to achieve it. All right, it, it's it, within your reach. And I think that's the very thing that's scaring you this month. All right. Something higher is calling you, and it may, like I said, and I said this in the first spread, it may come through an earth sign man or an earth sign woman or both of these two together. Whether they give you the push they need, you need to, to, to move forward once again, or whether they are the ones offering you some new opportunity. But it's something you can trust. All right? I feel like your thing is, can you trust yourself? That's the issue that you may not realize. All right. 
can you trust yourself to be successful? Can you trust yourself to make the right decisions? Can I trust myself? That's what, that's, that's the root of it. And I'm going to go out on a limb, Libra, and say you can trust yourself because you've gotten yourself to this point. You've gotten yourself this far. This opportunity wouldn't be knocking on your door if the universe didn't believe in you. If the universe didn't trust in you, all right? Make the decision, Libra. That there's that uh, water sign woman I was talking about earlier. That you know, or that water sign energy I was talking about. That also is there, you know, giving you the push. It's on the table, Libra. Are you gonna take it? All right. I'm telling you, something's gonna come out of the blue. And it may be connected to a love of yours. It may be connected to something you love, something you've always dreamed of achieving, something you've always dreamed of doing, of being a part of. Watch. Check your emails. Check your spam box. Something's going to come through. <laughs> and I'm excited for you. It's almost like a new era starts this month for Libra. Wow. Just have to let me know what happens, you guys. I want to know. So make sure you keep me updated. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Comment and share with my, your friends and family. Make sure that you also check out my social media pages. My Instagram is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Facebook is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Subscribe. Like this video. Comment. Share. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I go live. Also, make sure if you want a personal reading, I am available for personal readings. Check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Purchase your reading directly from my website. And within 24 hours, I will send you an email confirmation letting you know that I received your payment. Within one to three days or sooner, typically sooner than two to three days, we'll get your reading done. Sometimes even on the same day. Love and light. Until next time, God bless and no stress. I'll see you in the next video. Otherwise, I'll see you for your own personal reading. And have a great month, Libra. Happy Virgo slash Libra season. Love and light. God bless. And no stress.